Range Rover Sport L494, supercharged, 5 litre, 525 brake horsepower monster. It's lush. It's so lush, everyone wants to steal them. Right, and there is a thing called relay theft. So in this video, we are going to talk to you about relay theft. What is it? My very crude explanation of relay theft and how it works. We might touch on ultra wide band, how Land Rover have stopped it on newer models and what you can do to retrofit a little gadget in your key ring to stop relay theft. So, right, this key, so this only applies to cars with keyless entry. So, keyless entry, you can walk up to the car with your, you don't have to touch it, it can be in your pocket, in your handbag, wherever, and when you put your hand behind the car, it unlocks and you're in. Okay, so how does it do it? How does it know? So actually this key, you could consider it speaking and going, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. But it does it very quietly, it whispers, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. And it spends its whole life just whispering, hello, Simon, let me in. Now, when you're next to the car, the car can hear you going, hello, Simon, let me in. And then when you press this, it lets you in. So that's all very good. But the trouble is, let's go inside now. The trouble is, when you're sleeping at night and you've come in and you've put the key down on the side, right, put it down on the side, it's still going, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. Now, of course, the car can't hear it because it's here. The car's, the key's there and the car's over there. So people can walk up to your car, put their hand next to the button, and of course, it can't hear, it won't let them in. But relay theft works by, they come up to your door and they have some sort of receiver and it sucks the, just the whisper, hello Simon, let me in. And it sends it to another villain who's next to your car with a like a, a transmitter device and it says, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. And it sucks it and replays it next to the car and lets the other person in the car while your car is still here. So how can you stop that? Now, Ford had some genius technology and they said, well, if the key isn't moving, if it's just stood there on the, on the hall table, then there's no point in it, keep bleating on. Hello, I'm Simon, let me in, go to sleep. And only when you pick the key up, it senses the movement and it turns it on. So that was a really good invention. Now, I don't know why JLR didn't adopt that technology and I don't think they did and and we've proved it we'll do a test um, so this key um, is just always transmitting for its whole life hello Simon let me in right now what have we got here what have we got now I'd seen this technology but the guys from what's the company called smart keyless keeper they wrote to us and said Simon we'd like to give you one of these could you do a demo and I was really pleased because actually it was something I was thinking about so they have supplied these kits and they've also supplied the bag. Now actually, Land Rover sent me a letter the other day. Funny this, did you know this, Alicia? No. He sent me a letter, look. Have I got any GDPR? No, that's all right. That's my, that's my name and that's, that's our business address. They sent me this letter and they said, look, what are they gonna look? They sent me a little carbon fiber effect pouch. Now which car was this for? I don't know why I got a return from JLR Campaigns. And they said, there we go, it's got all my chassis number. If you want all of that, you're welcome to it. Um, they're looking for ways of improving our client's ownership experience. Now, having your car stolen is not a good ownership experience, let's be honest. And I think there was a time where car manufacturers actually would just sell you another car, happy days. But now it's got so serious, car makers are realizing it's not good. So they're working to improve software theft strategies so opportunity to request the free sleeping batteries for your smart key fobs oh so that's interesting so also the opportunity to request the free so maybe this would also do you could get this from jlr i hadn't even read that the following and they give you some some guidance but they sent me a free pouch so i'm gonna have to send off for my free sleeping smart key so this will be the same technology as this right so they send you also a faraday pouch and this is actually, it, it stops the, the transmission. So you put it in here and it's there and it's going, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. But when it's in there, all you can hear is, because it muffles the sound. It's an electronic Faraday cage and it's stopped, I guess it's foil lined. It is sort of foil lined, look. 
there as a sort of foil. So it's just a it's just a foil bag with a posh carbon fiber effect exterior. Right, so where were we? So these are sleeping batteries. Right, so how do you fit a sleeping battery in your L405, L494 key fob? So you slide this out, we've done this, but we're getting good. Right, get that. This is your mechanical key to open your door with a flat battery. Put it in the little hole there, give it a little twist, bomb, snaps your key and open. Watch the little rubber seal. He has that bit getting stuck there. Whoop. Right. Okay. So have you got a good picture of that? Yeah. Let's see it. Yes. Right. So you can just ooze this battery out. Okay. Now notice there's a little, uh, there's a, it's a plus on the top. So this is the plus side of the battery. And there's a little plus on that little gold finger there. Probably can't focus on that. Mm. Right. Now they send you some new batteries. Now why do they send you new batteries? Because they're slightly thinner, we think, possibly. Yeah, yeah, Alicia said that, so I believe her. Right, now, notice, so this is a little, we are going to put this in a little blanket, look. We're going to wrap it up nice and warm. Now, notice this disc is bigger than that one. So the bigger side, they could have put a positive on there and a negative on there, couldn't they? Um, in the gold-plated finish. So the positive goes on the big side. Obviously, the negative is the smaller side. And you wrap it up. Now, look, it's got some little funky lights. It all gets excited, look. And then what we do is we slide that in. Now, I suggest sliding it in from that side. Oh, I might have to guide up the little, guide him up, give him a hand. So I've got the circuit board on that side. And I guess you have to be careful or the circuit board could get close to that. So he's bleating away. So check he's all happy. And simply get this. Make sure you get it the right way round, he says. Right, and that should just snap back on. I've got to request my sleeping batteries. Right, get that. Dush, dush, dush. Right then, draw, right. right. And then get this on. Now, I always get it the wrong way. Oh, I'm on right. It goes one way and not the other. Not, there you go. So is that. Right, so let's go and see, does this still work? Right, so the battery should be awake now. So I should be able to, let's lock the car as we walk to it. There we go, it's all locked, okay. Right, and now let's see, is it still working? Put my hand in. Yeah, unlock, whoosh, we're in. So it all works perfectly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the car. I'm gonna balance it here, because what I wanna do is I'm gonna leave that still for five minutes. So at the moment it's still saying, hello, I'm Simon, let me in. I'm gonna let it go to sleep. And we reckon we didn't, got a, we didn't get a precise time from the manufacturer. But we just did a trial at six minutes and it was asleep. So start your stopwatch, Alicia. And let's start it and let's run five minutes. Right, so we've just read the letter. We ought to read letters more often. And it says the JLR sleeping battery is three minutes. So what time are we at now, Alicia? Three minutes. Three minutes. So let's see. Is it the same? Yes. So three minutes, there we go. Good job we read the letter. So the batteries will go to sleep in three minutes. So we've just read the letter from Land Rover and apparently it's a first come, first serve for your sleeping batteries. So I'll check with Land Rover if they're available free or if they've run out. If not, we will try, are we gonna get these in, Alicia? Yeah. Yes, and we will put them on the website. Um, if not, you can look up that smart key thing. But they're in Europe, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So if you're in Europe, you might be better off getting one from them directly. Um, right, that's it. Now, oh, let's go back inside because it's cold here. Right, we've got the... And we will talk very quickly for those that of you that aren't bored yet about ultra-wide band. So how does ultra-wide band work on the new Defenders? So what that does is it still says, Hello, I'm Simon, let me in. But it adds a timestamp and it goes, The time now is nine. 42 and 0 0.00043 seconds. So it goes, right, so it's transmitted the signal, hello Simon, at that particular time. And if you're next to the car, the time that that signal is received will be an identical time because the transmission time from outside the car to inside the car is gonna be minimal. Whereas if your key is inside the house and the signals have to be taken and retransmitted, it creates a delay. Now it's only a fraction of a fraction of a second, but with ultra wide band, they can detect that difference. And when it arrives, it says, no, you just said it's this time, but by the time you got here, you're late. 
you're not coming in. That's as I understand it. All this I've made up. No, all this is to my best knowledge. If I'm wrong, please comment in the thing below. But so apparently the new Defenders and the new Range Rovers have ultra wide band. And as I understand it, relay theft is not an issue. Right. Have we covered everything, Alicia? Yeah. Yes. Hopefully it's, it helps you stay safe and keep your car safe. Catch you later. Bonus feature, I'm going to see if you can use the, that circuit with the normal Land Rover battery because we cannot ship batteries. And if we're going to ship this to you guys, we can keep the cost down by not... Have they overthought that whole slim battery thing? I wonder, I wonder. Right, so let's take this out again. You've got to just give it a little... Well, because it's in two bits now, it's a bit tricky, yeah? Right, now which, one, which one's my original one? That let's one. Get, that one. Right, let's get it the right way up. That's the right way up. And we'll tell because it powers up. Good -o. Right, can we squeeze it in here? Right, let me lift that little flap. Well, he's just the battery is eating a few pies, that's all. Right, he's a tight fit in there. Make sure we get that bottom. See that bottom bit's a little bit hmm. stuck out there. Let's get it all nice and level. Oh, oh, I need longer fingernails. There we go. I've tucked him all in. He's all in nice. Right, will the lid go on now? Or are we pushing it? Let's have a look. Seems fine. Seems fine. There you go. So you don't need special batteries. We can just sell the circuit. And you can use your own normal batteries. I don't think that'll be a problem. If you have a problem, let us know. Right, catch you later.